Hello people, in this video let us specifically look at the zonular cataract, okay. So basically the references are Qurana textbook and other uh, sources in the internet. So basically you know what cataract is, right, opacity of the lens. So this is basically zonular cataract, it's also called as lamellar cataract. It is a, a developmental cataract, actually they are saying it is a congenital cataract, okay. So it is coming by birth, okay, it is the most common type of congenital cataract, okay. So it is the most common type, that's why probably they want <coughs> you to focus on it. They want you to focus on it, they want you to learn about it because 50% of the cases will be zonular cataract, okay, or lamellar cataract. So here what is affected, um, so basically it is a nuclear cataract, the nucleus of the lens is affected. Here uh, majorly there will be severe visual impairment. So because of that itself probably people present, okay, now look at this, if this is the crystalline lens. So this is the lens, right here you can see the lens. The same lens has been shown here. So this is the anterior part and this is the posterior part. So what you can see here is this is the nucleus, right? So this part is the nucleus. So the nucleus is affected here. So it is a nuclear cataract. So you can say anatomically it becomes a nuclear cataract because the nucleus is affected. And it is congenital. So it is a congenital nuclear cataract. When it, when it comes to, when it comes to the actual part of the nucleus which is affected, it is the fetal nucleus, okay, fetal nucleus which is affected. So if this is the nucleus, in this you have the, this will be the embryonic nucleus, leave this, but outside the embryonic nucleus, whatever next you get, that is the fetal nucleus, okay. Because here they have labeled something as lamellar, but go, don't go by it, okay, just understand that the nucleus is affected, in that what is affected, the fetal nucleus is affected, that's all right, okay. So that is zonular cataract. So basically, so we are, we are talking about zonular cataract or lamellar cataract, okay. So here what is it affecting? It is affecting the zone of fetal nucleus, right. So there is opacity, it occupies a specific space, which is that specific space guys? It is the uh, nucleus, in that nucleus which specific space? The fetal nucleus, okay. So this is the affecting the nucleus, nucleus, nucleus of the lens, okay. So basically here, inside that part, outside that part, everything is fine. Only this fetal nucleus part will be affected. That's what it looks like here. See the main mass of the lens, internal, external to the zone of cataract is clear. Except for that, um, uh, that part, fetal nucleus. Also they are saying there will be some spokes of wheels which may be seen towards the equator. Let us look at this information now. So basically... The entire lens will be fine except the fetal nucleus, except the fetal nucleus. Now here you can see here, except the fetal nucleus, which we will shade here, except this part, everything will be fine. Okay, but there can be some spokes of wheels also in the other parts. Okay. So there can be spokes of wheels kind of appearance. Let us look at that now. Spokes of wheel like this they have shown here. Spokes of a wheel. So here you can see here. Spokes of a wheel towards the equator they are seeing. Okay. So here also they have diagrammatically represented. So what they are showing here in this diagram. Opacity occupies a zone, internal and external to that zone, everything will be fine except for the spokes of wheels, okay. Then, these are called as riders, these spokes of wheels, they are calling it as, they are calling these are riders. Occasionally, two such rings of opacity are seen. Now, where are these two such rings? Two such rings of opacity, they are saying two rings of opacity will be there, okay. This is bilateral, bilateral means both the eyes are affected and it causes severe visual defects. So what will happen? This eye also is affected in the child and this eye also, it is congenital. This eye also is affected, severe visual defects. So this person will have severe visual defects, okay. Then, so etiology, why this happens, zonular or lamellar cataract, why this happens? This is, uh, this can be genetic, okay, it can be familial or non-familial, that much you understand, okay, it can be familial or non-familial. Whenever you are saying familial, that is genetic, genetic pattern is usually of familial autosomal dominant variety. 
oh my god it is a dominant condition if it is present familial so if even if one allele of the gene is there then this person will get the problem okay then coming to environmental form this will be the non familial one right so in this one malnutrition basically vitamin d deficiency wow vitamin d deficiency okay so vitamin d deficiency can cause this then in pregnancy if there is malnutrition it can lead to this type of non familial zonular cataract hypocalcemia see vitamin d hypocalcemia all of them are related right vitamin d is required for the absorption of calcium so obviously so vitamin d calcium go together so hypocalcemia vitamin d deficiency maternal rubella infection which is contracted during the 7th or 8th week of gestation may also cause lamellar cataract so rubella so that is what one of the torch uh, right one of the torch t o r c h you know the torch infections which they check for in pregnancy in that h is uh, in that r is what rubella so you have seen congenital rubella right syndrome let's look at that now again we have seen in congenital rubella video we have seen this rubella cataract so if you remember this right rubella cataract so this will be so did you understand this much in uh, zonular cataract zonular cataract also called as lamellar cataract it is very common so you should know about it here what it all will be there visual impairment spokes of wheel appearance that is called as uh, some word was there riders riders then uh, the fetal nucleus is affected internally and externally to the zone no problem will be there this will usually be bilateral severe visual defects can be there two rings of opacity then that's all right so basically vitamin d deficiency hypocalcemia can cause all this just look at some photographs from an internet website zonular or lamellar cataract here you can see the spokes of wheel riders right some image from india they see okay so this is about um, what guys what is the topic for today zonular cataract okay so this much you have understood <clears throat> that's all guys for now bye bye we'll meet in the next video